Hi, I'm doing a review today on a series which has two books in it and from what I gather I don't think there's going to be another one. Um, it's Crave and Sacrifice, they're the two books in the Crave series I assume it's called by um, it's two authors so there's Melinda Metz and Laura J Burns. So this is another YA, I know I've been doing a lot of YAs lately and I did about four reviews in the last while. Um, all YAs, all having two books in them. <laughs> a lot of two book YAs series a lot um, lately. Anyway, this the thing that first got me really interested in this series that I wanted, that made me want to read it, was it was about a girl with um, a rare blood disorder and it's um, a chronic disorder and it's um, taking over her life and she's been sick her whole life. And I was really interested in that part of the story about a girl who's just been like deathly sick her whole life and then someone comes along and changes her life and tries to help her and I, this series is a, a vampire series so it's about vampires but then she started getting these transfusions of blood and um, she started having visions of this guy called Gabriel and his life and those visiony parts I didn't really love um, yeah I didn't really love that element but then as the book goes on it gets really exciting and there's a good um, cha like change of direction in the story and um, and the main girl and the main guy they go on this journey and I really enjoyed the first book by the end of it I was excited for the next one because it was a big kind of shock at the end then the second one um, at the beginning I was really enjoying it and then there's like a change and then I was just getting tired of it towards the end I just couldn't wait for it to finish. It kind of picked up again towards the end. Um, but yeah, I really lagged in the middle. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I do think the first book was better than the second book. But um, they all did a good job. It was a nice, it was an easy read. And um, she created characters you want to root for. And um, also, it's a uh, multiple point of view. So sometimes it's from the, the main guy's uh, point of view. And sometimes it's from the main girl's. And, um... Yeah, so, I mean, it was a nice way. At times, it got a little bit cheesy, romantic. Um, like, we've kind of read YAs like this before a little bit. Um, so there wasn't many, anything made really new in there. But I do think it was a nice way. And it was, um, overall, it was enjoyable. So, um, that's my spoiler free review. And... Now I'm going to do a quick spoiler review, and if you haven't read the series before, I suggest you switch off now. Okay, so the part where she was getting the vampire blood transfusions and getting those visions, I wasn't crazy about that part. But then once um, she kind of freed Gabriel and went on the run with him a little bit, uh, I really loved it then. It really got interesting, and they were together, and... Um, I do think their relationship could have gone a little bit slower, like, they were kind of in love pretty quickly um but not too quickly like i've read other series where characters got together like like that but um yeah so at the end it was quite exciting like he was going to visit his family and then they thought she was an abomination and wanted to kill her and also then sam turned out to be her dad which, which was a nice twist um so that was a really exciting finish to the novel and then i got the second one at the beginning it was all exciting when she was locked up and then she was like dying then she became a vampire a full vampire and i don't like that i've said this before i don't like uh when the main character is a vampire um or any form of invulnerable creature being then it kind of got a bit boring and dragged and dragged and then finally in the end i i like that her mom like decided her but straight away i knew she knew how to take care of her um so yeah when the minute they the, they kind of went to rescue gabriel then it started to pick up again and they're kind of like a big happy family then by the end of it the ones who were left anyway there's not many left and i don't think there was a third one i looked it up i couldn't find inf any information and i mean this series could end with those, just those two books i mean it's all kind of resolved um gabriel's family oh they bugged me like they're terrified of humans, they can't be near any humans, even if they conspire with humans, they're like 
sentenced to death. It was kind of stupid, really. Um, that he just kept killing all his family. Um, and then you feel so, I felt bad that Sam was dead. Like I was kind of hoping that he would be alive, but no, he wasn't. Um, so I mean, this series is okay. I mean, there are lots of cheesy miss in there. A little bit kind of human falling over the vampire. We've seen it, but I like the element that they're kind of like a forbidden kind of romance a little bit um but yeah that is my review it's a bit all over the place but i'd love to know what you thought about it if you've read this book or these books and um that's my review so thank you very much for watching and happy reading